Hey everyone, it's Potato Couch. I'm Michael. Okay. Welcome back to Zelda. Welcome back to Oot. Zelda. We're not playing any particular Zelda. We're playing all the Zeldas. So when Jabba Jabba is Billy. We're in the fishing test. Fuck. Need the boomerang. You're right. Where is it? In the box. In the box. That helps. <laughs> that actually reminds me of um. That actually, that actually reminds me of I was I was at my work on Black Friday because I worked on Black Friday because I work in retail and I'm trying multitasking when telling the story is difficult. But uh, let's run door number one. There you are. Um. But I was working on Black Friday, and it was really fucking busy. Of course it is. It's Black Friday in a in a store, at a you know a retail store. And there was this woman who wanted to uh, know where the flats were, flats are. And it was really busy. And I told her that it was about four hours to the left. And she was being all sarcastic. She's like, "That helps." And I'm like, then I was like, "You know what? I'll just I'll just show you where they are." And she was like, "Nah, forget about it," and just walked away. And I'm like. I'm like, okay. What a bitch. <laughs> I was like, um, okay. My first response was, can you count? <laughs> can you, can you, can you look with your own two eyes? If you can't, you're apparently blind. God, fucking. If people say millennials are entitled, fuck, man. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> people can't know. No, you know who's entitled? Old people. Americans. Amer 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 yeah. Americans in America general Americans are pretty entitled. Pre I'm entitled. We're all entitled. We're all entitled. Why do you bounce? You're not because a bounce. you're throwing her at the wall. She's not a bouncy ball. Damn. <laughs> you stupid bouncy ball. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of customer horror stories, but that's my most recent one. It's not even a horror story. It's just someone being asked. Yeah, I don't have customer horror stories. Well, I have a couple. Name. Let's talk about. Let's talk shit about people today. Man, it's not all like customer stuff. It's just experiences. Yep. Oh, a couple days ago, um, a a parent and his son, like a, 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 a father and the son, he uh, came up. The kid was holding a two liter of Sprite. There was almost no Sprite in it. I was like, that's not good. My instincts were spot on. He goes, I didn't know who to come to about this, but uh, my son dropped the two liter. I was like, okay. Where's that? Where's it spill at? It's like, oh, it's in the back by the meat. It's like, okay. I'll get all the cleaning stuff we have. We have some of this powder that soaks up the like liquids and stuff, so you can just sweep up the powder. Yeah. So I grabbed that, grabbed a broom, grabbed a dustpan. I went back there. Oh my god. Some I, I guess when he dropped it, it rolled and just started spilling all the way down the meat department into the lunch meat, almost to the milk. Like what that that's fuck? almost that's that's like a third of the back of the store. And I was like, it's like did, uh, did it like intentionally was, like shake like, the damn thing and toss it to, like throw it like, against like, the ground? Like a fucking like, grenade, yeah. Because like, it looked like a grenade went off. And everybody was walking around, I was like, nobody slip and I ran the, ran into the like uh, the employee area, grabbed like a crap ton of cones and was like place them all through the back of the store and I was like spreading the well, the powder stuff and people were like somebody spilled something I was like no shit somebody spilled something <laughs> that's what I wanted to say I'd be like yeah I was a cheerleader they were like how did it get I was like I don't know how do I kill this thing so I spent like a good 30 minutes cleaning that up what like how old was this kid was he like he was like 6 fucking brat I was like Damn, you didn't even try to clean that up. You just were like, oh, spilled something, go fix it. People are 
assholes. People <laughs> suck, man. Like, oh, you'll find it working. Like, when you work in retail, people are like human beings are literally the worst animals. Yeah, they're and the fucking worst. They're fucking terrible. Another spill story. Wasn't it as, it as bad? Kid comes up to me and he's like, "I need some paper towels." I was like, "Okay." So I tear him off like two paper towels. And he's like, I'm gonna need more than that. I was like, what happened? <coughs> and he was like, I, I spilled some milk. <coughs> I was like, oh, okay, where's it at? He's, he's like, uh, it's, it's by the ketchup. Like, okay. So I, gra I grab all the stuff. It's like, like, I automatically just drop whatever I'm doing and grab the stuff when I hear about a spill because that's like the most dangerous thing is in a grocery store a spill on the floor because people slip and they can like break their necks and sue us and stuff. Maybe boomerang. I think. Maybe a deck nut. Uh, deck nut. You gotta get deck nut. No, it's, it's definitely a boomerang. Shit. I can't get past them? No, you gotta get the, the boomerang. Shit! But... Like, this, the kid just spilled a bunch of milk. Yeah, he goes, I, I spilled the milk. So I was like, okay, I got it. I'll, I'll come clean it up. I'll be there in a second. And I grab the stuff. The milk, he had spilled it. Like, he put it on the shelf to grab something. Like, so he, his hands would be free to grab something. And, uh, knocked it off. It, it was, it was like a 16-ounce chocolate milk. It, was, it wasn't like a jug of milk. But it was a full 16 ounce. That's a lot. Yeah. And Golly. it spilled and it went under the shelf. Oh my god. I was like... Fucking kids. <laughs> Shit. I, I at least appreciated... Uh, well, nice, I'm dead. I at least appreciated the fact that he tried to clean it up. Yeah. Like, he, he was trying. He felt really bad, so I, I didn't want to make him feel like shit. <laughs> Kids that don't give a fuck that give me issue. Yeah. Um. But yeah, got it cleaned up. Bar like it's, it was right under barbecue sauce. So now when you go by the barbecue sauce, it kind of smells like chocolate. <laughs> Which isn't bad. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then you got you got all the people that come through your line. I'm a cashier in case I haven't said that already. And uh, be like, hey, how's it going? How are you doing today? And they won't respond. Let's yep, get... right, yeah. Just, like, well, it, fuck me, right? Like, like, like I, I'm okay. Like, I can handle it if you're like, uh, like, I get it, you're having a shitty day, or you just don't want to talk. Okay. Yeah, it's when they completely ignore the fact that you said anything. Like, they yeah. don't look at you. They just continue putting their groceries up. It's like, it's like that you, come you, on, acknowledge you, the fact that I just spoke to you. I know you heard me. I know you're not deaf. I'm not talking quietly. Well, like, if people do that, I'm just tempted to ask them again because, like, I'm like, are you deaf? Like, I'm not, I, I can't ask them again because if I ask them again, they're going to give me fucking weird looks. Especially, especially if they're doing it on purpose. Now, there, there, are, there are times where they don't hear me because they're old or they have bad hearing. I get it. But, uh, and usually at that point, when they finish putting their groceries up, they'll be like, hey, how you doing? I'll be like, okay, you just didn't hear me. That's fine. And then I'll be like, oh, good, how are you doing? Yeah. And then I'll move on with my life. <laughs> but no, like, people come through and they'll get, like, a four-pack of beer and, like, like, I don't know, like, some potato chips. And the, I'll be like, hey, how's it going? And they'll be, they won't say fucking anything, and then I'll be like, you have a nice day, and then they'll just, they'll take half my bags off the friggin' carousel and leave them. Like, you're a bitch, I hate you. Piece of shit. Yeah, like, seriously. <laughs> oh, I almost lost my job, uh, yesterday. How? Um, uh, I was counting my, t or we were counting my till at the end, me and my manager, and she goes, okay, don't freak out, but you're $70 short. How, what the fuck? Yeah. And it's because of WIC. I hate WIC. It's the assisted, um... Like WIC? The, 
Yeah, it's for chil parents with children. Like small children. For, it covers like dairy and fruit and like like formula stuff like that. And some guy came through and he did a wick transaction. And I was like, okay. So I, I, we have we have to we have a special button that we have to press before we start the transaction. We put it in wick mode. So I pressed the button. I saw that I saw wick mode enabled. Cleared the thing so mm -hmm. I could start. I rung all this shit up. It was about seven dollars worth of groceries. And then he went to go pay with his WIC card. It's like it's like a debit card, mm -hmm. but it, it's given to you by the people who do WIC. Right. And which is to say the state. And uh, it said WIC tender not allowed. I was oh, like, shit. wait, I was like, what? Because it, it, it only says that when it's not in WIC mode. Mm -hmm. But it was clearly in WIC mode. Yeah. So I called my manager, and she's like, just cash it out. Which is basically saying they gave you exact change for the order, and you put it in your drawer. Mm. So the computer is now saying I have 70 extra dollars in my drawer. Which I don't. Because she had to go take it back and refund it. It was busy as shit yesterday. Oh, I am certain. Like, I, I had at least 50 people go through my line. In such a short span of time. And, uh, hey, Doodle. <laughs> and. I heard her. <laughs> she's sleeping on my foot right now. She's cute. But, yeah. Uh, she. My manager took the receipt and put it in the office. You gotta go a different way. Um. And then the receipt got lost. Oh my god. In the craziness. And it didn't work. Damn it. Shit. And, uh. So I get up there, and we couldn't figure. Like, so much had happened that day, we completely forgot about the wake order. Because it was near the beginning of the day. And, uh. We, uh. I need to get Rudo. We're, we're just like freaking out because anything I believe over fifty dollars is immediate termination. Ooh, dang! Anything over fifty is you're, you're immediately fired. Yeah, huh? yeah, you're just fired. Like you're done. Just like that. Yeah. Uh. So I was, I, I was honestly freaking. I was like, okay, I know I didn't give somebody incorrect change and give them an extra seventy dollars. I'm not, I'm no not way. stupid. That's really hard to do, to be honest. Like, you have to be stealing it. Yeah. To, like, be short that amount. Like, $100? Maybe. Maybe, like, a $100 bill dropped out of your, out of your um, till or something. Yeah. Which they wouldn't do very often, unless they fell out of the slot. That you put, because there's a slot in front of the register. Mm -hmm. they, they can hang out and fall out sometimes. The receipts do that a lot. Um... But it was $70, so it was like really odd amount. Because there's not a $70 bill. And I had two 50s in my drawer. So it had to be like a 50 and a 20. Right. Or like. I'm not even gonna do math. I'm gonna fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> 20s and 10s. I know what you mean. Yeah. It, 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 it would have to be a weird, like, number of bills to get wrong. And I don't, I don't change out. Uh, $100 bills and $50 bills, I'll give them 20s. I don't give them 50s. Even if I have 50s, I'll give them. Uh-huh. So I couldn't have possibly given somebody an extra $70. And, and I, told, I told my manager that. I was like, hey, I know this isn't my fault, but I do understand that if it can't be figured out, I'm fired. Because th there's no, like, if there's no record of, like, that $70, they have no choice. Mm -hmm. Which sucks. Yeah. But yeah, we finally got it figured out because my manager was like, hey, remember that wick order? And I was like, oh yeah, the one we had to cash out. And I, fi I found the receipt. Like, I found a receipt for it. Like, the, the one after that we saved. Mm -hmm. After we cashed it out and redid it. And she was like, okay, I'll pull up the order right before it on the computer. Turns out the receipt got thrown away. She found it in the trash. I was like, oh my god. So that guy like deliberately just took the trash or something? No. It, it got thrown in the office trash. What? With, with some other trash. Who did that? 
I, I guess it was just like a mistake, like some stuff got grabbed because it was in a different spot than everything else. It was frustrating, but it all got figured out and I did not lose my job, so I am Thank ha- God. I'm pretty happy because if I was out of a job, I would not be able to pay bills. And yep. That would be bad. I would not be able to eat. <laughs> That's not my favorite life. Hi. Says it beeping. Jesus Christ. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but I have to keep you here. For some reason, I have no idea, no idea what's about, what I'm supposed to do in this room. But, apparently, I just have to hit this thing. You have to break it. Why don't you zoom in and talk to Navi? Up on the sea Oops. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, you just need to keep it. Parasitic tentacle. Just keep it in it till you destroy it. You gotta get close to it. It's not gonna smack you, is it? Oh, I think it'll smack you. Well, yeah, it's its weak point, but like how? Yeah, you just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. Coming back down, isn't it? I don't. It didn't the first time. They get close. Stop being such a bitch. There you go. Get close, and then when it comes down to swing, then you throw. There you go. Put yourself in the den and you beat up the giant wooden tentacle. Yeah. Well, there you go. See, this is why we're good as a team because I'm completely clueless. But yeah, there was. That's probably the longest. But uh, there was one story I had where I was. Uh, I, I was working. I was working the sales floor that day, and uh, it was a busy Sunday afternoon. And there was a really tall woman who, uh, she, uh, I think she was like a mixed race. She was kind of tall. Uh, she, uh, it was really busy. What does her she, race have to do with her being tall? I was describing how she looks. Oh. Mixed race. Sh- short, <laughs> that de- short That hair. describes nothing. She was a mixture of two races. One of them being white and the other being white. <laughs> <laughs> you guess the other. The chambers are okay, but um, yeah, she uh, she was she had a she had a bag of the company that I am currently working for. Uh, she uh, she thought I was uh, uh following her. She thought I was uh she she thought that I thought that I was stealing something. She was stealing. She wasn't stealing, but uh, she thought that. No, I was just correcting you. you said. I was stealing. Why would you be stealing from your store? Huh? You said you were stealing. No. I th- what I mean is that yeah. she thought that I thought that she was stealing. From yeah, store. you said I, I was stealing. I said it the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta pop all the bubbles. Go, go, go. Pop down bubbles. Pop down bubbles. Pop all the bubbles. You got 30 seconds. Pop down bubbles. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop all the bubbles. But <laughs> Compass. Yeah. But uh, she went to a coworker mine about it. She was like, "Hey," she was like, "Hey, I think I think one of your one of your workers is following me." And they're like, "What?" Uh, so um, he didn't do anything about it. So she went and got the got the manager on duty at the time. And, uh, my boss called me up to the register, uh, so she could confront me about it. So the woman could confront me about it, and mm-hmm. she was like, I know what you're doing, you think that I'm stealing from you guys. And well, she, she was, she, she you, was, dude, she, she was making fun of how I walked. And I, I had no idea what, what, she, what she was talking about. I was like, whatever I did, I'm sorry, I apologize. And she was like, you yeah, know better, and stuff like that, just walked off. And I was like, and my boss coming back to the back, and she was like, hey, she was like, hey, do you have any idea what she's talking about? I'm like, no. 
And then the the same day, the same freaking day, I uh, there was a chick that we had to tell that we were closed because it was Sunday when we closed at seven, and uh, it was about it was a minute before closing, and uh, oh, great. After, oh, you're after still I, open because it, there's a minute till closing, so I can come in and get stuff. Yeah, yeah was, if you can get it in less than she, a minute. She, except this chick was like, uh, okay, or something like that, and uh, God damn it. uh, because after I clocked out and then I was going to my car, she was like, it's six fifty nine, and I'm like, I'm like, bitch, you mean to tell me you have sixty fucking seconds to get a pair of shoes? Less than sixty. Seconds. Are you shitting my nuts? <laughs> <coughs> See. I uh, unashamedly we're, we're stole we're, that we're, from We're running out of time. I would like to continue this discussion in the next episode of Ocarina. We'll we'll talk shit about customers more in the next episode of Ocarina of Time yes, after I, I defeat have a this lot thing. Of shit to talk. Me too. <laughs> well done. Okay, next episode we're gonna talk shit about more customers. Yeah. See you in the next one.